Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, I thought we'd continue with a channel that you guys seem to really enjoy. I'm talking about Dr. Nowhere. They released a new video called The Boiled One Phenomenon. Before I get into that, yeah, like I said, a lot of you guys seem to like my reaction to it. It's got 98,000 views, which is really, really good for my channel. But I, I was scrolling through the comments to kind of make a little bit more sense of what the story is about, because from what I can remember, it's this little, like creature. And I feel like the story was all backwards, but it was like some kind of web room like web chat room basically and like if you if they video call you I, f I guess that's the end of it because he just doesn't go away after that this thing the thumper or someone said what it actually is called here i'm just going to read this comment here because it, it kind of sums it up a little bit better than i ever would it's by the cherished wreath so thank you for the comment i appreciate it the love thumper's name is the organator which somehow eats your organs without ripping you apart leaving you untouched on the outside which the phrase everything inside was gone in a literal sense. Wait, I don't know. I just read that completely wrong. Or maybe I, just, I read it completely right, but it just sounds completely wrong. But I get what they're talking about. So this thing is called the Organator and it rips out your insides without actually touching you on the outside. I don't know how it's created. It's something about this chat room. Uh, we should probably look more into that to be fair but this boiled one i'm not sure if this is a continuation of that video because it looks like a different monster entirely so we're gonna have a look at it we're gonna we're gonna see what it's all about and uh we're just gonna have a good time so the description says this media curated and brought to you by web dash u web u industries courtesy of the efrata efrata branch you deserve to know, you deserve better. Story art, audio animation, and general creation by me with voice acting talents with Ray, Jim, and Sedwood. That's crazy. Audio art, animation, story. There are just some really, really talented people on YouTube that just deserve a lot more views than they're getting, that's for sure. So guys, be sure to go check out Dr. Nowhere. Phenomenal creator from what I've seen so far. Very unique, very creative, very original. Be sure to watch this video alongside me. You can watch it in a muted tab or go check it out in your spare time. Just be sure to give this creator some watch time because it's definitely what helps. Without further ado, guys, we're going to jump into this. It's called The Boiled One Phenomenon. This is the only video we're watching today, so it's a nice chilled one. Here we go. Oh, what did I just say? All following media has been curated with permission from personnel at Ephrata 228. I think I say that Ephrata. Great care has been taken to keep the identities of persons involved anonymous as they requested. This video contains elements which are known to cause mild to severe cognito hazardous conditions, including properties that may mentally and physically affect the viewer. Please refer to the following procedures in order to guarantee your safest possible viewing experience. What? Sorry, that's not real, guys. Is it? Is it real? Is that real? Chat, is this real? Uh, make sure you have the following in the vicinity. Earplugs, a pencil, a sheet of paper, a standard Christian Bible open to Palms 9110. Palms 9110. No harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. So it's basically saying, God, if you believe in God, you will be protected. I'm guessing that this is what that means. But yeah, I don't have the rest. I've got a pen. I've got a notepad. I don't have earplugs on me. So we might die today, guys. Well, I might. We'll see. If something unusual begins speaking in tongues tangible to the naked ears, insert your earplugs and turn to your pencil and paper. Oof. I like, I like stuff like this. Write the following on the page. Uh, what did I just say? I just skipped. Hang on. I can't see this paper. I have no hand. I can... I can hear the laughter of thousands. I can hear the feast. I cannot move, nor do I want to. I, I am not... Okay, let's just quickly read this to just negate everything that I just said there. I can see this paper. I can see my hand. I can't hear the screaming of thousands. I can't hear the feast. I am a moving, breathing human being on planet Earth. My goodness, should I write this down? You guys can write it down if you want. Oh, ear... I mean, I've got my, my ear kind of pod things. Oh, no evil shall befall you and no plague shall come near your dwelling. After these words are written, recite Palms 9110 out loud. If memories and imagery of something unholy persist in your mind, pray. That's all you can do. You know, one of these days, one of these videos, which we are going to believe to be an analog horror or a horror elements, right, is going to be an actual kind of ritual of some sorts, and it's going to send us insane. And you're never going to know. You're never really going to know, are you? Like, where you are, you're going to know. I don't think anyone else is going to know, though. But yeah, in the event you are required to carry out these procedures, contact authorities immediately afterwards. You will be administered amnestics. Many appear to lead a normal life afterwards. Look at that tree. Dude's looking at that. Yes, this is a tree. Many appear to lead a normal life. The boiled one. 
I like how this is already put together. Stuff that kind of ha mixes with reality and makes the viewer feel like they're getting involved in something they shouldn't do. I think that's good. August 13th, 2003, Tree of Heaven. Is it going to be a voiceover or no? In the late 1990s, a now classified documentary based television program would debut from a local station in Pennsylvania. The program revolved around woodland plants and animals and was primarily directed towards children. The star of the show, a narrator, would talk about the wonders of nature, the dangers of it and how to appreciate it, and most importantly, how to protect yourself from it. With this big bell right here. Unfortunately, in early 2001, the program would be taken off the air due to the host passing away. Oh, that's sad. Then something odd happened. On August 13th, 2003, the 13th episode of the series began a rerun seemingly out of nowhere. The following audio recording depicts the beginning segments out of nowhere. What? Of the episode. Okay. Look at that old Sony. Video footage taken morning, from episode Bush 3, 6, 8, 10, and 13. Today we're venturing into the heart of the forest to find a plant that's as beautiful as it is deceptive. Poison oak. Poison oak. We all know about it. And here in Pennsylvania, it's not as common but still something to look out for. Mm -hmm. And here on we aim to uncover all... He just cussed. He just cussed, guys. That's what he's doing. He was, he was saying cuss words right there. All the wonderful secrets that nature has to offer, no matter how minuscule or gigantic. Mm. So let's get going, shall we? Let's think about nature. From the very smallest thing to the biggest thing, it's all beautiful. It's all amazing. North American woodlands. Poison oak has many different names and places of origin. Mm -hmm. also I'm getting um, Vita Canis kind of vibes. To as the tree of heaven. The tree of heaven. In China and Taiwan, one of these invasive species made its way to America in 1700 and took mm. its ground here boldly. As many of us know, it's infamous. Okay, during one of the interlude segments, an anomalous broadcast would hijack the program. This broadcast depicted videos of a red, melted face that spoke to the viewer in a warm, yet deeply cons concerting, disconcerting voice. What the hell is going on with me? This face and its properties will be hereby referred to as Fen22228. Fen. As Fen228 spoke, clips of footage and even live camera footage monitor monitoring hospitals and bedrooms would be occasionally overlaid on the screen, obscuring Fen228's face. Though most remember Fen speaking English, multiple non-English speakers viewers remembered understanding every word that was spoken. The following clip is a re restored recording of the anomalous broadcast. The duration of the clip has been shortened and the audio has been muffled, reversed and dampened. These alterations are absolutely necessary to suppress its hazardous attributes as effectively as possible. For maximum safety, watch with blue light glasses and insert your earplugs. Blue light glasses. I've got those. I've got those on, I think. I'm just for you guys. I'm not going to listen to it. I'm just going to I'm going to reverse this and just curse you all. So keep watching, guys, if you want to be cursed. I'm joking. You're not actually going to be cursed. It's not real, guys. Don't worry. Hey. Well, I don't know what was just said there, guys, but I couldn't. I can reverse it. Broadcast 813 was viewed by roughly 530 residents throughout the southern Pennsylvania area and upon viewing left many severely distraught. <laughs> Aside from the discomfort and paranoia Fen television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that were view these... View I can't... The reason I'm, I'm like completely fumbling my words right now is because I'm anxious that it's just going to just go off and I'm not going to be able to read it. So I'm just going to pause it and read, but then I feel like it just takes away from your experience. You know what, here we go. Aside from the discomfort and paranoia, Fen228's television presence had brought to the viewers, there were other side effects that these viewers experienced that were highly unnatural. Okay, such as, many viewers reported not being able to keep the image of Fen face out of their minds. Some even continued to hear its voice days after viewing. Wow. A victim who requested to remain anonymous claimed that the face was living in his brain and feeding on his spine. Another described trumpets playing in their ears before they fell asleep. None of these people knew that this was only the beginning. The beginning of a whole new species of suffering that would never be fully understood. Man, I like where this is going. I like this Doctor Nowhere.
August 14th, the Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. After the anomalous frequency was detected by television station troubleshooters. Okay, I'm going to have to pause. The NERC was ordered by the Ephrata branch to have all power grids local to the state of Pennsylvania disabled by 4 p.m. to prevent further escalation of the anomaly and the public knowledge of broadcast 813. Man, okay, so the, the government are just coming in, a, a, a branch of government, or it could be a private company. Let's be honest, it's probably government, because uh, you, that's, you know, you need permissions and stuff. Or you don't, I guess. The outage ultimately spread to various parts of New York, New Jersey, Ohio, and even Canada as well. Creating the famous Great Northeast Blackout of 2003. Almost 50 million people were without power, some not getting it back until days later. That's a shame. During the confusion caused by the outage, all traces of Broadcast 813 were collected by the Ephrata branch and seemingly wiped from existence. Including news articles in the works from the morning after the broadcast, internet posts, recordings and more. The cause of the blackout was promptly covered up and claimed to have been a combination of human error and the result of trees falling onto sagging power lines somewhere in Cleveland, Ohio. Of course. But the damage had been done. What, to those 500 people? Yeah. Aftermath. Stop. Stop, Ryan. It's not funny. It's cringe. 12 days after broadcast 813 was blocked from the air, a historically massive influx of pseudocoma Ally S occurred throughout the state of Pennsylvania, leaving 509 people affected and many families in shock. What's pseudocoma? Uh, locked in syndrome. Oh my god, really? Oh, Ally S locked in syndrome. That is horrible. That means like you, you, you're completely aware, you're awake, but you, you have no control of anything basically you're just looking through your eyes i just i'm super grateful for being able to be a like stuff like that just makes you super grateful for just the normal things being able to get up being able to like move your fingers you know blink being able to just like move freely you know it's crazy that some people actually have this and i can't imagine a worse fate than that oh god that's crazy man Pseudocoma is an extremely rare condition in which a patient experiences a cerebro... Jeez, what was that word? Did you see that word? Cerebroma... Do, do, why? Who names these medical conditions? We get it. You, you're, you're clever and you're, you're posh. Cerebromedulospinal. Cerebromedulospinal disconnection. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Leaving them to be conscious but unable to move or communicate verbally due to complete paralysis of all voluntary muscles in the body except for vertical eye movements and blinking. Okay, so they can blink. So that's how they communicate. I would get be like, get the board out, right? Get the little word chat out and I'll spell out, kill me. I'm not doing this. This anomalous outbreak of such a rare condition was regarded as a spectacle by the US Department of Health and was put under government, governmental investigation immediately. One thing in common with all these cases is that the patients had been at home watching TV the night the broadcast 813 was aired. Though the victims of this outbreak were unable to speak, they were able to communicate through Morse code by blinking. More than 60 victims were interviewed. Uh, many of these interviews had unavailable results okay many of these interviews held unavailing results that often led to more questions and many others held results that required archival or termination what termination so you just straight up killed them fairly late into the investigation the Ephrata branch was notified of a particularly odd case revolving around one job zamperini an elderly victim of the anomalous pseudocoma outbreak that's crazy Job Zamperini specifically requested his Elias to be, I'm guessing, to be used in future records instead of his real name, which will remain classified. Okay. Zamperini was a war vet and fluent in Morse code, putting him on the mark as a potential interviewee. As soon as the outbreak was put under investigation, what? Just get a board and do what they do on Breaking Bad with the whole board. It's like you have lines of, of things. You go one, two, three, four, ding. And you go... One, two, three, ding, you know, you blink. Then again, it's hard to like, you'd have to really like force the blink, I guess. I, I don't know. After a very odd photo was taken in his backyard by his visiting grandson, his family became deeply troubled and convinced his house was haunted. This led them to contact a local priest in hopes his house would be blessed. 
The following photo depicts Fen228 standing next to the small playhouse in Zamperini's backyard. The playhouse? The photo itself has proved to be non-hazardous and safe to view, though still anomalous in nature, the most comfortable viewing experience where blue light glasses or view from a distance of three feet or more. So this is about three feet. I think I'm about three feet away. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that thing. Jeez, what's going on? It's got like freaking scoliosis. What's going on with his back? Zamperini claimed something horrible and unholy was within him and would hurt him and possibly others if he described it and what it was telling him. Oh my God, there's an upside down cross there as well, mate. The following is a recovered previously archived recording in which Officer T. Gomez of the Euphrata branch interviews Job Zamperini. Hello, Mr. I'm Officer Gomez. I hope you're doing well today. Give it you to God and go to sleep. Questions regarding your condition and possibly um, unholiness within your home that your family had mentioned. Okay, translation sequence. Okay, first and uh, foremost, did you notice any onset symptoms before you lost complete mobility of your body? There face, was a huh? face. Ooh. Hmm. When did you begin seeing this face? Interesting. After I saw it on TV, it never left me. Any of the people who have seen the broadcast that you saw on August the 13th described having vivid and upsetting hallucinations. Do you think this is something your brain has created? Okay. No, it is Can in the window. Describe this face? Well, here. Uh oh. Horribly burnt, not of Lord Christ. I, uh, I still don't see it. I can you see you, it says there, look. Aside from the face. I'm sorry to hear I hear that. screaming of many voices. Are these screams constant? At night before sleep, I what? Constant? At night before I sleep, I hear trumpets too. Thank you. The Lord Christ is with me. Okay, there's something. There was a hidden message there. But I'm too, there's probably in the description. I mean, in the comments. He's gone. Oh. I can see you. Wonderful day. The miracle of birth. A fetal fanfare. Oh, was this the, the, the thing? I'll have to see if this was the actual... What? You will hear the trumpets play their happy sound. The scalding blood of life will pour down onto us all. Together. We will be still together. A feast fit for a king. A feast fit for a Welded by love and purest connection. Be still. Well, this guy just wants to everyone to love and spread joy. I don't see the problem. If you can see the screen, it means it's not safe to continue viewing. The program will end shortly. Oh, dear. So it means we just got hijacks there. Protocol Bravita 228 has been initiated. Perform the procedures given to you during the introduction portion of this video immediately. Uh, sh no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. That's terrifying. Is this directly related? Is this a? Di I'm guessing this is a different story to the whole like or organator thing. This guy makes some crazy. Uh, uh, unless it's in the same universe, it probably is in the same universe, right? Because all these things exist. So I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe the thing in the other video is a direct manifestation of whatever happened here as well. Or maybe it's part of like a higher thing that's trying to take over the world slowly because it to make a feast fit for a king i don't know it sounds like we're all going to be fed to some kind of freaking aldridge being from the sounds of it but i really like this i like stuff like this stuff that really makes you kind of anything that makes you kind of second guess if what you're watching could potentially be real obviously it's not real but 
yeah, still, it's it's really, really well done. That was Doctor Nowhere, guys. As I said at the very start, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go watch the rest of the videos if you haven't yourself. They're really, really good. Once again, I'm not sure if they're connected. I think they might be in the same universe, but I don't think the stories directly correlate. We'll see. Maybe there'll be more videos in the future. Keep up the amazing work, Doctor Nowhere. This was really, really good. Really enjoyed this one. That's the video today, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, want to leave a like rating, subscribe, all that good stuff. This is the majority of my content analog horror spooky games every now and then so if you're a fan of that consider subscribing hitting that bell and uh yeah thank you for watching guys i'll see you guys in the next video take care